13 inch MacBook Air Model A1369. System fan replacement. This applies to year 2010 and 2011. Make sure that the Mac is completely shut down. Close the lid, flip it over. We'll be removing the 10 screws that are securing the back panel to the unit. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star-shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. Starting in the top left corner, remove the small screw first. Now, the next two screws in the center, up top, are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. Just keep an eye on them. Once you remove them, set them aside and remove the remaining eight screws. With the screws out of the way, go ahead and gently lift up on the back panel and move it out of the way. Locate the battery connection, lift it by its tab and wiggle it left to right as you pull on it. Let's disconnect the input and output board data cable. It's connected on the right and the left. You can disconnect it by gently lifting up on the socket and then just peeling the cable back. We're going to need a T5 screwdriver bit. The fan is secured with three screws. Let's remove the top right first, then the one on the left. We need to disconnect the I.O. board power cable to expose the third and final screw. Just unplug it and move it out of the way. With the third screw removed, we need to lift up the eyelash carefully before we pull the power cable for the fan. You can just get underneath it like this and just pull it out. And now we can safely remove the fan. Reassembly. Put the fan into its socket as you're plugging it into the logic board. Make sure to lock in the lever. Go ahead and lift up the rubber gasket and place the fan in. Secure the bottom screw of the fan first. Then secure the top left and the top right. You can plug the I.O. board into the logic board and reconnect the I.O. board data cable over the top on the left side first, then on the right. Gently reinsert the battery back into its socket on the logic board. Make sure it's firmly in. Place the cover back and secure the cover with the 10 screws. Put in the two longer screws and the top middle first. And then you can screw in the remaining eight screws that are shorter. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful.